hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is adese ibeku don't forget to like subscribe and share please subscribe please i'm begging you please subscribe thank you so um yeah don't come for me but i filmed this video all in one day like i filmed the first one how my skin got from that to this in one day and i'm filming this one on the same day and you know why not it's the consistency for me so on this video i'm basically going to be talking about some things i didn't talk about in the last one and i'm going to be taking you through my daytime skincare routine as as we go through this journey of trying to get my skin back to supple baby soft smooth clear skin so yeah so one thing i forgot to talk about in my last video was basically abby is basically um does my diet affect my skin i don't think so because <sighs> how do i explain this you know my life is very complicated i have to like roll up my sleeves to actually explain this properly so um I don't eat a lot of things, not for any dietary reasons, I just don't like them. For example, I don't really eat bread or eat bread at all. Like, I can go months without eating bread. It's not even something I buy. I also don't really eat eggs. Like, I will eat it, I don't like it, I don't like the smell. I don't know how to put it. I don't like the smell of eggs, so it turns me off from eggs. But I will eat the eggs in the, in the situation I have to eat it, um, or like in certain, like in certain meals or something like that. I'll eat it, but I rarely, rarely eat eggs. Like in a week, I can eat eggs zero. In two weeks, though, I could eat eggs like once. Yeah, don't really eat a lot of butter. I don't really eat a lot of sugar. <sighs> my diet is pretty okay like it's just there i don't drink milk i don't like milk not because i'm lactose intolerant or allergic to anything i just don't like milk so if i was ever to drink milk or how i would consume milk would be like in a sauce or something like that or if i was in the rare events that i was to eat cereal because i don't even really eat cereal either don't ask me what I eat because that's a whole different story. It's a whole different story. And so, so, yeah. So, it's like my diet is not really, it's not debt, it's not like dirty or like anything. Although I recently started ordering a lot, but it was before this, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so yeah, my diet has this or nothing to play in, in this, I guess. So, that's why I wanted to, you know, state now we're actually going to try and you know don't come for my skincare routine like i said is we're just trying stuff i'm just trying so yeah let's get into what i do during the day my daytime skincare routine to you know try and get the skin to bounce back yeah let's go okay so just a little close-up this is what my skin actually looks like right now um let me focus it yeah so this is what it currently looks like you can see all the scarring the hyperpigmentation the black spots the healing active acne there's like active acne yeah so yeah so i'm just going to show you what my new skincare routine is for now it's cleanse my skin um this is avin so free face you know face cleanser i got it from the pharmacy it came with the sunscreen so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like blue one and the orange one is the sunscreen so they basically came together which is why i got them because like it was you know a two for one deal so might as well so the first thing i'm going to do is wash my face so now i'm just going to wet my hands I just wet my hands and I put like, you know, a little, like four drops or so. Because it cleans really well. It's so free, but it, you know, blood is pretty, okay. So, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. that's clean. I think I need more. So I just clean my hands again. Yeah. So I put a little more, like maybe six drops, and then wash my face with it. And I do this for about a minute. Or yeah, I do this for about a minute. Sometimes I think A B C D E F G, maybe twice. <laughs> Just to make sure that I'm cleaning my face for as long as I should. Now I take a paper towel and dry it out. I don't know. I've just always really liked using paper towels to dry out my skin. Because I can just throw it away. It's not something I have to, you know, wash. Then I'm going to use this toner. Um, this is a toner from I can't pronounce it Wild Ives Rocher or something like that. So on the bottle of this product, it actually says that it's a clarifying lotion. A clarifying lotion is another name for a toner actually. It has salicylic acid from botanical origin and it also has hyaluronic acid it's very good for like moisturizing your skin however it does have a really strong fragrance i'm not sure if i would personally recommend it if you have fragrance allergies it's probably best to just avoid it but if not fragrance doesn't really do much to accept you know over sensitize your skin over time but i think there's nothing to really worry about i just personally don't really like the fragrance so but it's really it's really moisturizing though Also, I also thought it's important to note that behind the bottle, it actually says to apply the product with a cotton wool such cotton swab. However, as you see here, I just put it between my hands, rubbed it together and pressed it into my skin. I don't think it's, you know, it's going to have any significant difference because this is not a product that you're going to wash off your face anyway. I also apply it with a cotton wool such cotton swab sometimes, but I just, this is just how I decided to apply it this time. I'm just going to use my moisturizer. Um, this one is a tea tree face cream. It's suitable for oily and combination skin. I just got it from the pharmacy. Then, after that, I'm going to now take the sunscreen that I showed you before. It is SPF 50 UVA sun protection. Um, now, the problem with this sunscreen is that it looks white. Like, you're going to look like Casper the Ghost after but for me and the fact that you know i haven't really found a sunscreen here that's not gonna that's not going to keep me or make me look like casper the ghost i would take casper the ghost over sunburns and potential skin cancer so you know that's just me and yes, even if you're not going out, you are to wear sunscreen. Even if you're in the house, wear sunscreen. Because you still have windows and things like that. So. Yeah, so it's me again, obviously, coming to you live from Casper Laville. Like, Casperville. Like, I look. Uh. <laughs> I should stop. <laughs> I'm done with my skincare routine, my daytime skincare routine. So it's really simple, it doesn't take that long. I will link all the products in the description box below if you would like to try them out. I would say since you are, we are using me for experiments, give it a while first. Let's see if it work before you go and buy this thing so you don't spend your coins. Just leave me to spend the money on your behalf. It's okay. I take the responsibility. Yeah. Man's got the yoke. Can do it. Can do it for you. Can do it. I want to get vitamin C serum soon to incorporate that into my daytime skincare routine. My friend was telling me that I actually have a glycolic acid pill for the night time. She was saying that you can't layer glycolic acid and vitamin C. So I think I'll just use the glycolic acid in the night and the vitamin C in the day since I'm already going to use sunscreen to protect my skin, you know, from the sensitivity that the glycolic acid will make my skin, you know, to make it to become sensitive and stuff. So I will see you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Tell your friends, please subscribe.
Okay, I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Bye.